WVTM 13's Magdala Lusant has been downtown at the federal courthouse all day long in Magdala. I know Lisa is joining you and she just sat down with Beth Holloway. Yes, she did, uh, Sherry and Brittany. And Lisa, what did uh, Beth Holloway have to say? She's such an amazing woman, you know, real warrior mom. It felt like over those 18 years, many times she was the only one pushing hard for answers as to what happened to her daughter. And as you said, she got those today. When I talked to her just a short time ago, we sat down and had a conversation about this. And she said it really, it comes as a relief because in the end, she got what she wanted. Over the years, not only have you had to deal with your own grief, but you were, you know, desperate for answers. We had this main suspect. And in the meantime, while you pushed and pushed, another young woman died. That must be devastating for you. It was as hard as you were trying to get him put away. Yes, because in 05, I knew that he was responsible for her disappearance. I did not know that, of course, anything that we know today, but I knew that he was definitely involved in her demise of her one way or the other. So that was in 05, Aruba let him go. 2010, I had him, Aruba, let him go freely to Peru and bludgeon a second young girl to death. So I'm thinking, I did everything I could in 05 and 2010 to stop him, but Aruba did nothing besides be complicit with him and let him go. So, you know, that's why I feel like I can live with my decision that I got the answers that I wanted, even though, yes, it came with a plea agreement, but I did everything I knew to do to stop him on the, to, in the beginning. You got the confession that you wanted. You know now what he says happened, and does it, does it give you what you thought it would? It gives me more than what I thought I was going to have, and I never thought about it just being over because there's been so many rabbit holes. I mean, they were just like a sea of rabbit holes, swirling theories, and I was into all of them. Because we, had, because we didn't have anything. And I think we just began chasing these, you know, running down these rabbit holes repeatedly. So it's nice to, it's, it's over, it's stopped. Yeah, you know, one of the things she said was that it's time to put this behind her. She's obviously never gonna forget Natalie and that she always is a part of their family. But it's time now to enjoy her grandchildren, she has two, and to start looking more towards the future. Okay.